We are excited to announce the release of our Loop Plus service for Salesforce.com. In the next few minutes, we will walk you through how you can automate document creation for your entire organization within Salesforce.com. Loop Plus allows you to dynamically package any combination of Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and PDF files into a single combined PDF file. This combined file can then be delivered through Salesforce email or virtually any other delivery option like eSignature. To build and deploy a dynamic document package with Loop Plus, you will need to complete three easy steps. The first step involves dropping your merge fields into your document or set of documents. Because Loop Plus works with the Salesforce merge, you can use the plugin for Word to insert merge fields from Salesforce. You can install the plugin from within your Salesforce account by going to Setup, Desktop Integration, Office Edition, and then clicking Install Now. After you are done dropping your merge fields, you upload your file or set of files to the Documents tab in Salesforce. Simply name each document and save to the Documents tab. Repeat this until all of the files required for your dynamic document package have been uploaded to Documents within Salesforce. Now you are ready to build your dynamic document package or DDP. Click the DDP tab and then click New. Select the record type for the DDP. This will determine from which object the user can run the package. Name your DDP and then name the combined file that will be the output file for your DDP. Then click Save. From the details page, we can now build the DDP by selecting the files that are part of the package, the pages to use from within the files, and finally the appropriate page order for the package. Simply select the folder and files to use from within documents. You can drag and drop any file. Then select the start and end page for each section. You can quickly drag and drop sections if you need to change order. Also, you can add bookmarks to various sections within the package. If you need to look at any original file, you can double-click the file name to download it from Salesforce. Once you have selected the appropriate pages and put them in the proper order, click Update Files. Now you are ready to set security for your DDP. We can do this by profiles or roles. If you want to make it available to all profiles, simply drag and drop the folder and click Update Security. If not, select only the profiles or roles you want to authorize for the package. Now your organization is ready to run the DDP. To run a DDP, simply click the Loop Plus button from within the object. Each user will see all of the DDPs available to run based on his or her profile or role. Select the contact to use, pick the DDP to run, and then choose your delivery option. Email will route through Salesforce email, and Loopit will take you to our Loop service if you need to add any ad hoc files to the DDP before delivering the package. Click Run, and your DDP will be dynamically created, passing down data from contacts, accounts, and opportunities. Because we selected email as our delivery option, we are now ready to send out the email with the file attached. You can review the file by clicking on the attachment. We encourage you to install our free trial from AppExchange to begin creating and deploying your own dynamic document packages.